If you want people to do the unexpected, you go first. COVID-19 is a lot to deal with. The entire world is stressed out. When people are this stressed out, they don't show the best version of themselves. This week, I wanted to discuss the de-escalation techniques I learned in Mark Golston's book, Just Listen. During these chaotic times, you will have to deal with agitated people. Use these tactics to understand the situation, keep your calm, take care of yourself, and get what you need while staying safe. Taking care of yourself and your loved ones, keeping your cool, and phrasing out your words in ways that are effective and get you what you want, when you want, from whom you want, are the most important skills you can have right now. You will deal every day with people who have mirror neuron receptor deficits because the world isn't giving back to them what they're putting out. Understand a person's hunger and responding to it is one of the most potent tools you'll ever discover for getting through to anyone you meet in business or your personal life. It's easy to keep your cool when the problem doesn't affect you personally, but when bad things like this happen, they affect everyone. When bad things happen, if you resist the temptation to do anything that will make matters worse, you will discover valuable things about your company and yourself that you would never have learned had you not taken the hit. How do you deal with panic? One absolutely critical element in moving your brain from panic to logic is to put words to what you're feeling at each stage. Get the person to talk out how they feel. Have them talk through their feelings. Make them feel felt. Above all, refrain from coming across like you're attacking the person. Every time you protect yourself from being attacked, the other person feels as if you're on the attack. Why are people being so mean right now? The single greatest cause of dissonance is the fact that people behave their worst when they feel most powerless. So how do you calm someone? Do something unexpected. Listen to them. If you want people to do the unexpected, you go first. Above all, stay calm. When you stipulate a potential problem or flaw, do it in a confident and unselfconscious way. The more relaxed you are, the more relaxed the person you're communicating with will be, and the easier it will be for both of you to focus on your message. Unfortunately, there is no fast track from pain to calm. The only path is through. The more we allow people to have their feelings and become sad or angry, the quicker it passes. So how can we do that now? The secret to getting ahead is getting started. Set yourself apart by staying calm. If you're the one who stays in control when everyone else is falling apart, you'll earn the respect and confidence of the people above you. According to Galston, here is the step-by-step -step process to calm people when they're angry. Number one, say, tell me what happened. Number two, then say, I need to make sure I heard you right and summarize what they said. Number three, wait until the person says, yes. Number four, then clarify by asking, and that makes you feel angry, frustrated, or what exactly? Number five, follow up with a leading question. And the reason it's so important to fix this or make this better now is... Number six, lastly, now that you've allowed them to vent their frustrations and understand that you are on the same page, illuminate the path out. Now that you have the six step plan in mind, go ahead and start putting it into place with people facing challenges. Make people feel interesting, make them feel important, and above all, make them feel felt.